Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a look at the backplate for EVGA's GTX 580. And here is EVGA's GTX 580 backplate. So let's take this plate out of the box and have a look what accessories come with this plate. Okay, with the backplate you will receive an installation guide. And here is the plate itself. Unlike the previous plate uh, that EVJ came up with for the GTX 480, it does look like this plate doesn't come with any additional installation screws, uh, so you won't need longer screws for this install. Looks like you can just use the standard screws. Let's take the protective layer off this, have a closer look at this uh, back plate. On the back of the GPU uh, socket area, you can see they've pre-installed a thermal pad for wicking some of the heat away onto this huge heatsink type surface. They've also included a little lip here. I'm sure that's to add a little more rigidity uh, to this, make it more a more rigid product than the previous flat GTX 480 version. There's also a couple of rubber standoffs here to create a buffer, an isolation buffer between this aluminum plate and the back of the PCB on the GTX 580 graphics card. Uh, let's have a closer look at this plate. Let's install the plate on the GTX 580 and let's check out exactly what this plate looks like. Installation of the GTX 580 backplate is a very simple and straightforward operation. But before you conduct this installation, make sure you have everything you need ready and available. We have here our GTX 580 backplate, GTX 580 graphics card, small Torx T7 screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. Now, installation of this, as I said, is a relatively simple task. First, you will need to remove 12 screws from the back of the PCB. That would be these following screws and including all the screws around the GPU socket itself. With all the screws removed, we'll now need to install the backplate itself. But before we do, pay particular attention to the lip on the back of this backplate. This lip will need to curl around the front edge of the PCB here. And there you go. Now we're going to install the screws starting around the GPU area first and then work outwards. Now install some of the screws around the GPU first. Pay particular attention when you're installing these screws that you don't strip any threads. Don't fully tighten down these screws yet. What we're going to do is install some of the other screws first to make sure all the holes line up prior to tightening everything down. Now with all your screws loosely installed, what we're going to do is tighten everything down tightly, starting to run the GPU area first, and then the remainder screws. Now pay particular attention, you don't want to over tighten these screws, they're very fine threads and you can strip them out really easily. When you're tightening around the GPU area, make sure that you tighten in diagonal opposites. And there you have one finished GTX 580 backplate install. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and Facebook if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware.